Okay, so that brings me to the end of my final point. I have talked about features of intelligent buildings, using the study by Clement Kumb, as an illustration. I then moved on to discuss the advantages of intelligent buildings, and use the study by Chen et al. in 2010, to demonstrate the lower running costs, and the research by Lemon Preston in 2005, to show the better environment that can be created. So, now it's time to hand you over to Jasmine, who will discuss the drawbacks. Thanks Nicola. So, I'm Jasmine, and I'm going to talk about three disadvantages of intelligent buildings, first the high construction costs, then the need for careful management. And third, the technical problems that might occur. After that, I will look at the issue of intelligent residential buildings in Hong Kong, before finishing with a short conclusion. Finally, we'll have the Q&A session, when you'll be free to ask questions. Okay, so turning to my first drawback of intelligent buildings, the high construction cost. I think here, this study by Morrison and Roberts is most useful. They compared the cost of building conventional office buildings, with intelligent offices in two North American and two European cities. As you can see from the bar chart, 